Say bye. Say bye. Bye. Vloggers, what's up? Uh, so we're going to the gym right now. Just another typical day going to the gym. Going to work out. Bye, boo. Love you. Obviously, uh, you know, during this lockout, right now we'd probably be working out as a team. But it's not, it is not possible right now. And there's my boy, Mark Akimoyatu. What up? About to get it in. Since we don't get our workouts on together as a team, we got to do it individually. Which is good, but not good at this point because we need to get together as a, a team. Mark, how important is the team chemistry, brother? Really and, what, and, what, and when does that build? It, it builds when the, all the guys get together, you know, like the peanut butter and jelly. Yep. Right now, just the peanut butter and the jelly. There's no bread. That's how we like we to explain it. get in there. Yep. So, when you make your peanut butter and jelly, do you just make it on Sunday, or does it happen, like, when, do, when, when, when does that fusion happen, bro? Fusion happen from starting on Monday. Yep. So, when it gets to Sunday, you're already nice and gelled in. <laughs> my man, my man, in his uh, little descriptions, man. Anyhow, we are headed out to uh, Lifetime Gym. About to go get this workout on, and uh, shoot, we'll hang out later, vloggers. Peace. I want to give you access to what life is like for a player during this time. I want to share with you how we live, how we train, and how we adjust to what I like to call the life of the lockout. You know, one of my biggest roots in my life is my father. Uh, he passed away a couple years ago. Flew 2,000 miles for uh, 12 hours to spend down here with my dad and my family. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good to be here, man. When I was growing up, me and my dad had a, a uh, universal symbol of how we acknowledged each other. Ever since I was small, was he would always rub my head like this. Right. So if I did a good job, you know, I got a rub on the head. We'd come back from football practice or, or from, a, from a little league football game or... From a, from a junior jazz basketball game, you know, he'd always rub my head like that. Well, in the final minutes before my dad passed, I was right next to his bedside, and I leaned over, and he was unable to speak or anything. He was unable to communicate. So I wanted to see if he still kind of knew who was around him. So I just said, hey, Dad, uh, you know, it's me. Like, do you know who I am? And then he just looked up at me. He couldn't speak, and uh, he just started rubbing my head again. But my head was bald. Like I was bald, so he rubbed my head again. Then a few minutes after that, then uh, you know he moved on, and um, ever since that day, man, I never cut my hair. And so, uh, you know, every time I, I might have a uh, you know struggling moment or need some help, uh, you know, I just kind of just rub my head, kind of grab the ends of my hair, and know that hey, man, the the ends of my hair is probably the you know has my dad's fingerprints still on them. It's good to be here with him, man. Everything that I've uh, ever dreamed was set on foundation that he set for me, man. So we got my dad and then my niece, she died in a car accident. Um, my sister's daughter, she, she died in a car accident when she was seven. And um, so this is her right here. And then this is my uh, great nephew right here, uh, Suliasi. He passed away last year, complications and stuff. Hi. So anyhow, uh, we're just barely leaving Utah. Been here for about a uh, good 28 hours and um, headed back east. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little snippet while we came to Utah and uh, know just a little bit about uh, our lives, man. Cool. This is the Life of the Lockout. Thanks for tuning in. It's a cool table. Oh, nice. Mark hosted a barbecue for us, for families and for friends to come over and, and break bread with him. So we had a little barbecue, had some great food down there. Also had some great company. What are you doing in a lockout, dude? 
fish, work out, fish some more, go golf. Go to sleep? Go to sleep. All right. That's it. Hey, come here, big homie. Come on, big homie right here. Marquise, back of the plane. Hold on, wait, you got to show the arms. Compliment. Hey, this is the back of the plane crew right here. Go your yeah. shrimp's ready. This is for him, right? Is that for me? Did you do something to it? That's for both. And this is for wait, wait, wait. No bread. Hey, what did he do to that? Push What'd you carry. do to that? Did you do something? No, I mean, nobody else is getting trimmed but you, so we got you your trim. Dude, I love you, dude. Game day truth. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'll get some trim. Sure. The relationship that we carry as uh, football players go beyond... Uh, you know, the whistle beyond the four quarters, beyond the stadium, beyond Sundays. He actually, uh, you know, was kind of highlighted today in Mark Sanchez's uh, barbecue that he had for us. We had a little team barbecue today um, at the pool here. It's relaxing, had some good food, some shrimp. Um, what else? Steak, hot dogs, burgers. It was all there. Good spread, potato salad, and uh, chef cooked it up real nice for us. Some of the guys came, some of the families. Bo's kids came, so that was cool. Um, but it's been a good good time so far, and Dustin Keller has a little bowling event, so we're going to head out to that. To all our fans, thank you guys for supporting us through this lockout. We're trying to get back as soon as possible. Just know that your Jets will be ready. We're working hard together this entire offseason, and we'll be ready to play. Anyhow, this is me and my lovely family. Basically, the motivation why I do everything, man. My wife, Katie. My daughter, Leilani, that's sleeping. We got Jonas right here. Sonasi. And we got Viliami right here. We're missing one. Her name is Katayo. She's out in Utah with my mom, but other than that, this is the circle that makes it happen, so. We're here in the life of the lockout, man. Here for uh, Dustin Keller. Actually, uh, you got some shirts made for us. And um, it's actually the foundation right here, a Dustin Keller charity bowl. So I guess it's benefiting the, um, benefiting some charities that mean, mean a lot to them. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there and see what happens, man. It was crazy, man. Every time I sign an autograph, I always think about how my parents had a dream, as with all Polynesian uh, migrants that come from the South Pacific, man. They come here with the purpose for the children to have a, uh, a good life, be able to you know, provide their children opportunities when they got off that boat. And so every time I Sign the autograph. I always think back about the struggles that my mom and dad had to go through, as with all Polynesian parents and people who who come here and try to make a better life, and you know try to do that, do the same thing for my kids and for generations to come, man. <laughs> if I wasn't putting on cleats, this would be my second choice of sport to play. I'm about to show you how I do it, man. Time chilling all alone. Maybe late night talking on the phone. Just a few of many things I wanna do with you. Put up the front, I can't do that. Feeling so strong, I can't hold back. Baby, can we hook a play? Uh -huh. I'd like to know you better. I'm talking about the good things. Going to church on Sunday. You got me open, I can't lie. I do whatever to see you smile. Quick stretch, quick stretch, quick stretch.
trying to get a workout on. You know, obviously it's camp lockout. So we're getting together and working out. Oh, oh man, you see how you do me? <laughs> Hey, good. Shut up. Good work today, everybody. Family on three. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Shut up.